everything on Earth can be placed into one of two categories, living or non-living. There are specific actions something must do in order to be called living. First, all living things must eat food and drink water. Food and water give living things energy. This monkey eats food that helps it live, grow, and stay healthy. Plants don't eat and drink the way animals do, but they do make their own food. They do this by using the energy from sunlight and the water and nutrients they absorb from the air and soil. All living things must breathe. Animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants do the opposite. They breathe in carbon dioxide by absorbing it from the air, and then they breathe out oxygen. All living things must grow. They become larger, just like a baby becomes a toddler, then a teenager, and then finally an adult. These giant sequoia trees are the largest living things on the planet. They have been growing for hundreds of years, and some are more than 300 feet tall. All living things reproduce or produce young. Humans have babies, so do animals. Plants reproduce too. Many plants make seeds, which grow into new plants. Living things also remove waste. This means living things get rid of the things they don't need inside their bodies. Humans do this when they go to the bathroom. It's not the nicest part of life, but it is important. If waste were allowed to remain in the body, it would become poisonous. All living things need to get rid of waste. Plants get rid of different wastes, such as gases and extra water, by releasing them into the air and soil. Plants also store waste in their leaves and fruit. Eventually, the leaves and fruit drop to the ground, which gets rid of the waste stored inside. Living things also react to the world around them. Both plants and animals react to touch, light, heat, cold, and sound. For example, a dog can react to the sound of its name being called and the touch of someone petting it. This interesting plant reacts to the feel of an insect. It closes to trap the insect inside and digest it. All living things move as well. It's easy to see movement in people and animals. Plants may not appear to be moving, but a lot of movement is going on inside them. Plants move water and nutrients to all of their different parts as needed. Plants also turn toward the sun as it moves across the sky. Look at this object and decide whether it is living or non-living. This is a tortoise. Right now, it is eating plants. Later, it will remove waste from its body. It is also breathing. The tortoise reproduces by laying eggs. It also grows and moves. This tortoise is a living thing. What about this volcano? Is it living or non-living? The lava is moving, but the volcano doesn't eat or drink. It also doesn't breathe or reproduce. A volcano is a non-living thing. All living things share the same traits. They eat and drink, breathe, grow, reproduce, remove waste, react, and move. With so many types of living things, the world is a unique, interesting place.